I just thought I'd do a video on uh, making pancakes outside. So uh, I'm just going to light the fire up and then we'll get started. Right, um, today I'm just to save time, I'm just going to be using some fire lighters and some corn matches. So this is all out of my fire kit, which is in a thing, and it's got lots of tinders and things in there, some matches and things, and it's all in a nice. So yeah, I'll do a video on that another day. But I'm just going to take these, I've got a rubber band on that. Poundland quality for you. <coughs> Try it. Okay. Obviously, this isn't as good as, say, a wet fire, but it'll do the trick. Um, and it's fine. It's cheap. I think it paid about 89p for pack of 15 or something, ridiculously cheap. I know it's not very bushcrafty to do it this way but oh well, I need to do it quick because it's going to get a bit dark in a minute. So once I've got a decent fire going, I'll show you how to make the batter. Alright, stay with me and I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to make the batter. Basically, I just wanted to run through the ingredients. I've got two eggs in there. Just a pinch of salt, but I took the whole jar. You can measure it at home. 125 grams of uh, flour. Um, or five ounces. Just some butter for frying. 375 ml of milk and 15 grams of sugar but I'm just going to estimate oh and not an ingredient but equipment a whisk oh just over here <laughs> you're going to need of course frying pan and a bowl you could actually mix all the ingredients in a bag like this but because I'm at home I'm just going to use a bowl so uh, I'll see you in a bit I just wanted to show you now how I'm going to uh, mix it, so take the flour, open it up, put all of that in, there we go, then we take a bit of sugar, just a bit, just a little bit there, and then we take a pinch of salt, so just a little bit there. And uh, now, uh, basically, I'm going to take the egg. Yep. Yeah, just going to crack that, put that in there, and crack this one, put that in there. Now, now I'm just you need to just whisk this up to like a kind of dough almost. I hope you've seen this. Um, and then I want to add 100 ml of milk. So just under a, no, just over a, no, just under a third of the milk. So just add it so you've got quite a thick paste, but nice and smooth. So See, it's nice and smooth. Then you want to add a bit more milk, slightly more. Like that. So basically, you just want to mix it so it's got a nice consistency. So I'll add the milk in steps. So add a bit more. Now I'm just going to add it all now, like that, and go away, so. just 
fired all night. Now, I'm ready. I'll bring you back and I'm going to cook them. So, see you in a bit. Um, right, I've got some butter. You just want a small amount. Just got some left in my knife. Put it in. Just want to wave it about a bit. That's just so it doesn't stick and it adds a bit of flavour. So I'm just going to let that melt and heat up and then I'm going to fry them. So I'll see you when it's nice and warmed up. Okay, now I've uh, it's heating, it's really sizzling. You can see it's almost gone a little bit burnt. That doesn't matter. Just going to pour, just give it a whisk, it's nice and smooth. Just gonna pour a small amount there, and then because it's a bit of an uneven surface, just gonna it's hot. There we go. <coughs> now you just wanna leave it like that. I wanna hold it a bit. I'm using some uh, big chunks of oak which are offcuts from a building project that my dad's doing uh, to uh, basically just support it so basically I've got a stove here kind of it's not as luxurious but that's bushcraft so you just want to nicely fry it I've never cooked pancakes outside, but hopefully the result should be good. I need to flip it, but my brother's gone to get the spatula, so I need to come back, I'll bring it back. I've just got to leave it to it on the side here, to nice to keep warm, so I'll see you then. Okay, I've just flipped it, it's just a simple process of doing that, just getting the spatula underneath it. I've burnt it slightly, but that's because I didn't have the spatula to turn it in time. But <coughs> should taste, still taste good. The outdoor flavour compensates for the burnt. That's what I always say. So, I think it's a stove kind of configuration has worked really well. I mean it keeps the heat in and keeps airflow well, nice and good. So yeah, not bad. I'm just going to serve it up and put some sugar and lemon on. Then my brother Alfred is going to test it and tell you what he thinks. So I'll just stay tuned and I'll get back to you this is my brother Alfred and he's just gonna do a little review of the pancake and what he thinks well I think the pancakes are very good and my brother uh, always does outdoor cooking and I always taste it and it's really nice and uh, I just love outdoor cooking and outdoor stuff so that's his uh, views on my pancakes so um. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for more bushcraft videos and don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe, I really appreciate your support and uh, I'll see you next time, thanks for watching.